I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. <gasps> What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Huh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know. We did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? Uh, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Mm. Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? 
Call me Axel from now on. Got it memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own. Hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization. The real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam when Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way. That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yup. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah.
watching that! Uh, sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say, that Giga's pretty impressive. Really? I like his aura most. Woody, <laughs> 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 what gives? Shh. Are they back? Shh. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry, I got you covered. It's go time. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Have we been shrunk? And, and look at us! You know what the magic is for? We have to protect the world order! Border? I said order! Gorge! Hmm? Going to protect the order from them. Heartless. Okay, we go on three. One, two. Well, uh, what are you doing? Who are those guys? Sora. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder yeah, said Zora! Uh, uh, uh. Slow down there, Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah, and his mom <laughs> must have bought him for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Toys? <laughs> you sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now, hold on. I'm Sora. Yes, Sora! 
Actually, my name's Sora. And I'm Donald. Oh, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now, and I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops, at attention, mm -hmm. sir. Huh. <laughs> 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 Strangers, from the outside, welcome. They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... No. <laughs> oh. Well, you must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No. They just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. We keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well... Hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. One big thing? Huge, sir. What thing? After everyone went MIA, the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? <gasps> but that would mean... Organization. You know who it is? <sighs> yeah, they're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry, but we're not going to leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place him in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's move out. Come on, let's head over to the toy store. Take it for a ride. Battle positions.
The first thing we've got to do is head down the street. Galaxy Toys is on the other side of town. <laughs> Why doesn't that toy move? I guess it hasn't figured it out. Figured what out? I can make it move for you. Uh -huh. huh? You're from the dream! The first of the Xehanorts! I'm so honored you remember me. Oh no! He can move! Way cool! Look out! Wow. <laughs> One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. I wonder how you'll handle the strain. Wait! What does that mean? Don't let me down. What is going on? Is this boy a friend or foe? I think we've got our answer. <laughs> yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't. Do what? Huh? Brilliant! I'm on it! Being controlled? He wasn't just switched into battle mode by accident? Buzz? It's nothing. I'm confused. Hmm? That guy in the black coat, did he say he made a copy of the real world? What's that mean? It probably means they split this world in two. Your friends in one world, us in the other. Only one of the worlds is real. And the other is just really convincing. You can't be serious. Oh, that's right, you're from a video game. <laughs> well, maybe in your game that's how things work. But here in reality, you can't split worlds. Uh -huh. well, this is ridiculous. No, I... huh. Woody, let's go. I admit, 
it does sound just a little far-fetched. But say we have been taken to some kind of alternate world. That would explain why your laser's real. And is it really that crazy? Worse than evil emperors and protecting the galaxy? Any of that ring a bell? <clears throat> Point taken. But that just means these strangers are part of the delusion. And I say it's time we parted ways and went home. Thought we were friends, not strangers. <laughs> Look, I get that it seems weird. But we know something's wrong with this place. We should stick together. Sora's right. They helped with the intruders, so they might help find our friends. They have been there for us so far. You can't deny that. Come on. Every toy deserves a fair shake. Am I right? Tell it to that toy over there. <gasps> hmm. Sheriff, sir! Huh? Rex has just been dino-napped! What's that? Oh. Oh. My men saw him get hauled up to the second floor, sir. And Ham and the aliens are MIA. Come on. We have got to find them. Please, let us help. Yeah. Well, Buzz? Do you really think we can save our friends on our own? We didn't get very far before. We gotta take all the help we can get. Don't worry. Hmm? Sora can be reckless, <laughs> and Donald grumbles a lot. It's true. But you can trust him. I suspect you do. It's true. Huh? He does? <laughs> See, they don't seem bad. Am I right, Buzz? Okay, fine. We do need the extra help. But just so we're clear, I remain skeptical about this. I'll work with you till we find our friends. Okay. Thanks for the help, Sora, Donald, Goofy. My troops will return to the field, oh. sir! This ascent is gonna be rather tricky. Too bad we're not strapped to a rocket, huh? <laughs> hey! Think we could use that? Oh. It's perfect! Come on, guys! <laughs> <laughs>